Tad Ragnall here with UTVUnderground.com. We are just outside Zion National Park where Polaris has been nice enough to give us a brand new Sportsman Ace. So I should probably start by saying I'm not really a quad guy and I've really only recently been a UTV guy. So when I was asked to drive this, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. Think of this kind of as a single seat razor and a cross between that and a quad. So it's kind of got all the aspects of a quad but then you have the benefits of a seat, a steering wheel, and most importantly, a roll cage. It took a little bit of getting used to, being that you're sitting down and it does have a steering wheel. You know, it works and it feels like an automobile, but then it also feels like a quad. There was a couple times where I kind of wanted to move my weight around, wanted to stand on the side, and of course you can't do that. So you have to remember that, you know, you're stationary and everything you do kind of has to be done with the steering wheel and the pedal. You don't have that ability to shift your weight, move it forward and backward, left and right, like you do a quad. So that takes a little bit of getting used to. Once you do, the vehicle is actually really easy to drive. The Polaris Sportsman Ace is powered by a dual overhead cam 570 engine. This thing's more than capable of powering this pretty lightweight vehicle around. You know, you see the 570 on some of the other vehicles like the Ranger, so when it's in a smaller package like this, it has more than enough power to wheel this thing around. Part of the reason is the four-wheel independent suspension this thing has. It's got sway bars both front and rear, coilover shocks all the way around, and it really uh, does a good job of handling the terrain. The engine configuration on the Sportsman Ace is typical to many of their UTV vehicles they produce, meaning it has a CVT drive, the engine and the transmission are located in the rear where the axle is really behind the hubs and the rear wheel. One of the neat things about the Sportsman Ace is the ability to tow. This vehicle is actually rated to tow 1,500 pounds, so that's quite a bit of weight and it gives you a lot of options of you know, different accessories and things you can carry behind the vehicle. In traditional Polaris fashion, this thing has a huge line of accessories that you can get for it. Anything from swinging doors to storage cases front and rear, mirrors, roofs, you know, all sorts of packages for it. I kind of didn't know what to expect, being that the trails were really, really washed out and the ruts were huge from all this rain. And the Sportsman Ace was great. It's narrow, it's nimble enough, and uh, you know, I got used to it pretty quickly and the vehicle went through all of the really tight stuff really well and I had a lot of fun actually. <laughs> 